Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to monitor CPU usage, memory usage and disk space for an Azure VM. And disk space it's not the total disk space but individual disks like C drive and F drive from the Azure portal. So for demo purpose I have created a VM TK-VM. It's in running status. So let's go to metrics. Under metrics, the first thing I'll show you is CPU usage monitoring. So by default for a new VM, you will see only one option which is virtual machine host. So when you click on virtual machine host, you have some of the parameters listed here. Look for CPU and click on percentage CPU. So this is the default monitoring which is enabled for every new VM. Now, next topic would be how do we monitor physical memory usage. So to do that, you need to enable certain parameters. So let's go to diagnostic settings and I'll have to enable guest level monitoring. So it creates a storage account. This is going to take some time. So let me pause this video. And I'll come back once this is done. Okay, so it took about three to five minutes and it's it seems to be done. Now on this page it shows overview, then it shows performance counters. None means I do not want any performance counter. Basic under basic it shows it will be enabling CPU memory disk and network now you might be thinking cpu was already enabled by default so what is it if i go under custom so when i enable cpu it adds few more parameters for cpu which is processor time privilege time user time and processor frequency so let's keep it at basic Let's go back to metrics. So earlier I had only one option, Microsoft, uh, I'm sorry, virtual machine host. Now I see another one, guest classic. So when I choose guest classic, I see few more performance counters. So I'm looking for percentage committed byte in use. So this has been enabled a few seconds ago. So we might have to wait for some time before this data starts showing up. In the meantime, let's go to the next counter, the disk usage counter. So if I want to monitor the disk utilization for individual drives, I need to go to Insight. So for my VM, since it's a new VM, Insight is not enabled. So let's go ahead and click on enable. It's going to click a, it's going to create a workspace log analytics. So we are fine with that. Let's click on enable. So this is also going to take some time. So let's wait. I'll resume once this is done. We are back after 10 minutes. So it looks like it is done. It shows me monitoring data is being collected and routed to insights. It can take up to 10 minutes. So hopefully it should be done. So let me click once again on, let me cross it out. Let me go to metrics. So we'll check all three once again. CPU, percentage CPU, yes, it's showing up fine. It's a virtual machine host level monitoring. Then guest classic. There are so many monitors, but one I'm looking for is committed bytes in use. When you check the memory usage, for any system 
under memory usage there are so many counters you have compressed memory committed cached page pool non paged pool but the nearest match is memory percentage committed in use so right now it's not showing any graph because by default it's 24 hours we have just set it up so let's change it to 30 minutes and in granularity let's change it to 1 minute okay so it's showing up so my memory usage is somewhere around 35 percent now let me show you the disk usage we had enabled insights let's click on performance There you go. So it shows me my C drive. The total size is 126.51 and it's 8% consumed. D drive, the temporary drive, it's totally 8 GB in size, which is 13% consumed. And then you have lot many parameters here. You can go through them. When you go to the overview tab, here also you can view few of the parameters. So you have the CPU counter, when you click on that, it takes you back to the same metrics page. So this was in my today's video, how do you monitor CPU usage, memory usage and individual disk usage. If you found this video useful, please like my video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching.